Hello everyone and welcome to my first Let's Play for 7 Days to Die. Uh, today we're going to be looking at just the first day of survival uh, and the first night. So this is geared towards newbies. Um, this is not for veterans or experts, although you may find one or two tips that are helpful here, but for the most part this is for newbies. So please keep that in mind, all you pros out there, if I'm mentioning things that are kind of like obvious, this is a tutorial for new players. This is uh, Alpha 15, and I know some things will be changing in Alpha 16, but lately, Seven Days to Die has been selling hotcakes on Steam, and I kind of wanted to get this out there just to help those who are all coming into it, never played before. Um, us veterans tend to have a lot of things that we, uh, we already know and we take for granted, so I wanted to make sure that we have a chance to introduce this to all of our, um, all of our newbies. Right, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is going into the options and setting those. Um, and I'm going to be turning the level of detail up a little bit more and field of view as well. Um, I'm doing this because I'm recording this at 720, uh, 1280 by 720 resolution instead of my normal 1900. Um, this allows me to record at better quality and um, better quality as in performance quality for my recording. My computer's not that great, so I'm basically uh, recording on a fairly older machine and it helps if my resolution's lower for the actual recording. You know, so please bear with me on that. Please bear with me with the sound. Uh, the microphone I, ha I have is a headset that picks up every little noise I make, uh, every little swallow and breathing, and I've got a bit of a cough and uh, stuffy nose, so it's it's just going to be a little bit rough. I'm sorry uh, ahead of time. So a couple things we're going to be doing here. We're going to be using a UI called, um, dang, I forget the name of it, but I'll, I'll put the link in the description. And basically that UI allows us to, that, that UI mod allows us to see health uh, and stamina, but also lets us see the thirst and hunger meters as well as temperature and stuff like that. The fine pimps took that off and um, they removed it from the game, but I disagree. I think it, you need it. It's a survival horde crafting game and for a reason. And, you know, I think that those bits of information are just as important as uh, your health and everything else. So this mod adds them back and makes them nice and discreet. So I will be using that. We'll also be setting up um, the frames per second meter and the heat meter uh, that's part of the debugging tools in the game, and I'll point that out when we get to it. Right, so we're going to start a new game. We're choosing Navis game. We're just going to call this tutorial, and uh, we're going to change some of the settings here. So for newbies, you will probably want to set the daylight length to 18. It gives you another couple hours. It gets dark at 2200 instead of 20. The other thing you want to do is set your time to about 60 minutes. That's a nice one hour for your day. Uh, day and night total. Um, you may want to set your tool belt down to, uh, or drop only to tool belt. That makes death a lot less painful for you. And you'll want to set the airdrops uh, to on because airdrops, uh, they, they happen every three days, uh, starting on the fourth day and then on a at noon. And they can really stress you out uh, if you have to go get them. They, they drop really good stuff and they have a little orange uh, smoke flare. But it's kind of hard to find them after that smoke flare wears off. And uh, for newbies, those are essential. You really need the resources that, that come in those. So I would definitely turn those on. I even turn those on as a pro. Um, I just I just cannot stand having to stop what I'm doing and rush over there and get it. Now, some people love that. Some people like that kind of um, urgency and things like that. But I think a lot of folks just, um, if you're just starting, you know, you may want to set your enemy spawning down um, if it's getting too rough or change the difficulty settings, which reduce the amount of hit points for the zombies and things like that. But for the most part, I'm just going to leave these 60 minute days 18 hour days, uh, 60 minute full cycle and tool belt only. So we're gonna get started. Now, I am trying to spawn in this particular area in Navisgain. Um, I've played through in forest and cold a lot. I haven't done desert very much and I haven't done plains. So I think I wanna try out the plains this time around. So um, I'm going to basically, um, uh, hopefully we'll get that, but if not, we may have to re reset this a few times to make sure we spawn somewhere near the plains. 
I have a certain place in mind that I'd like to set up base, um, just because I've never done it there, but it might be, uh, might be kind of cool to try out. Okay, so we actually started in the planes. That's actually great. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started on this and uh, start surviving here. Notice we're near the edge of the map. So the first thing you want to do is start getting fiber. Um, and you can do that just by kind of punching plants, um, the grass and everything else like that. Fiber is useful for, you know, almost everything in the early game. Uh, it's for armor, for weapons, for structures, things like that. So you just kind of want to punch all this uh, as much as you can. <clears throat> and pick up rocks uh, as you go. You're going to need rocks, fiber, and wood uh, as much as possible. Now, whenever you start off, it generally starts you, um, if you're playing Navis game, it starts you near a dilapidated structure with a car and a cardboard box and a few other things like that. Yep, so you'll just uh, pick up as much as you can here. You'll want that golden rod that will let you craft uh, drinks and all that will help restore stamina. Search these corpses, get everything you can from them. And just stay active. I think one of the big mistakes that newbies make is that they're not urgent. Um, they don't have a sense of urgency and they don't just kind of push themselves to, uh, to keep moving, keep doing something. some rocks here. I think I need more rocks. You can punch a tree, but that's a pain in the butt. Um, it's better to just use... Yeah, still short on rocks. Um, you can punch a tree, but that's just going to hurt your hands. Um, I mean, it doesn't really cause damage, but it just takes you forever to hack through that. Um, so I would instead go for some of these, these smaller bushes and stuff if you need some wood. But we really just need rocks right now. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, worst case, I'll punch this. Um, one thing you'll notice is up here, you've got this kind of green area. You're at the edge of the map here. This is a, a radiated zone that you do not want to step in. If you step in that, you're going to die. It's going to kill you really quickly. So I'm just going to punch this thing until I get a little bit more rocks. I could go around trying to find them, but that might waste valuable time. And really, I just need enough rocks for one axe, and then... I'm set because it's a lot easier to get the rocks from the from those boulders than afterwards. Yep, so I'll equip this. Just pick up as much stuff as I can here. Yeah, now we're doing well. So notice that this gives us iron ore plus uh, stone, and uh, the durability of this item is going down as we see, but it's also affecting my axe there. And that axe durability bar will eventually go down and uh, I'll have to replace this thing or repair it. Repairing is useful. Um, uh, hold on, I'm getting tired now. So yeah, if you run out of stamina um, or get low on stamina, below 50%, 50 stamina, you will not hit as hard and uh, you will actually have a tough time uh, dealing effective damage to either creatures or objects. So you kind of want to wait for the stamina bar to come back. The problem is, um, you know, what do you do until then? Well, you stay busy. You craft, you scrap, you fix, you do things like that. So I'm scrapping that one, you know, repairing it and making another one, things like that. And every time you craft or repair, your skill goes up and you can then, you know, make better items and things like that. This yucca fruit is actually pretty useful. It's going to give me fiber and um, yucca plants, which the yucca plants can be eaten for a little bit of stamina and a little bit of food, or you can save four of them and make them into juice, which is actually pretty dang helpful if you don't have a cooking pot or anything. All right, so I'm just going to hack some of this. Get going with this. some of this golden rod. I 
Uh, this is actually a pretty good little spot. I mean, the plane seems to have a decent amount of uh, resources. It doesn't have as many trees as the... Uh, hold on. Get this crafted. Make this quest. It doesn't have as many trees as the forest, but, you know. You can plant them. So, while I'm crafting all that, I keep on working, right? The basic rule here is always be crafting. A, B, C. Always be crafting. Be doing something. Let let the time uh, kind of, you know, work for you here. Basically, while you're hacking and chopping, you can be crafting and scrapping and things like that in the background. So, there we go. Got some uh, scrap iron there. I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. It's important to note that everything in this game can be scrapped. Pretty much everything. There's like one or two items that you can. But, yeah, you're, you're going to want to scrap uh, a lot of things. So, I'm going to scrap this. And some people are going to say, you know what? Um, no, why are you scrapping that? You're only going to get some of it. Um, the point is, uh, you get 75% of the value of the item when you scrap it. When it comes to, like, uh, forge and stuff like that. Oh, I don't have a bow or any of that. Yeah, alright, but let's make some arrows. I don't have... Urgh, I don't have feathers. Okay, so let's equip this. You can hit B and um, pull up your, your guy and then shift click it to equip it. We're going to keep the hat equipped because it keeps us cool and this place gets a little warm. But yeah, hit B to pull up your character sheet and then shift click to auto equip. <clears throat> Still don't have stuff. Let's go ahead and make that club. That's the next step. I could craft arrows now, but I have a quest later to make arrows, so we'll just do that. And I'll favorite these right now, and I need feathers. I'm in desperate need of feathers. Alright, so let's just ignore that rabbit for now. If we find it later, great, but eh. Yeah, uh, by the way, I need to come back to this one and hack this. And the big thing to note about this is that when you complete a stage, when you destroy something, you get a bump of extra resources. So you um, that one gave me um, some lead and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and loot all this. All right. Oh yeah, backpack. I uh, already did those. All right. Let's scrap a few items here. But yeah, you only get 75% on the scrap, but you know what? Inventory space at the beginning is just so much more important um, than, you know, 20 or 30 bits of iron in the long run. At least that's what I think. I, you know, I, I find inventory to be the hardest thing to manage at the beginning, especially when you don't have a bike or any of that. So I'd much rather be able to just kind of, you know, carry everything. You know what? Um, yeah, oh, by the way, I will say the Plains has a lot of uh, coal here, but uh, actually I really don't need that coal. I think I'm just going to... Because coal is late game, or mid to late game, when you start crafting um, gunpowder. I can always come back. Right now it's just going to eat up inventory space and make it more difficult to manage. You have to think about mid game and late game materials. And that just comes from experience. You'll, you'll eventually know what, what's mid game and late game. I'll tell you as we go, but you know. Oh, there's a deer. Hmm, maybe I should. Yeah, I don't know. I need to find stuff. Ooh, corn. Corn. Alright, awesome. Corn's useful for making uh, stews, which are some of the best food in the game. Where are the stupid. Is that bunny? Yeah, that bunny's. <laughs> Bunny got killed on the cactus. That's hilarious. Um, yeah, that's a rough cactus. All right, so we have to use an axe right now because we don't have a shiv. That'll give us meat and hide. And unfortunately, the bunny isn't big enough to drop bones. Uh, you need bones to make a shiv. And um, that's your early tool for skinning things. And the earliest sources of bones are going to come from the corpses of zombies that you kill. I suppose... Um, I should encounter zombies sometime soon. Ah, oh, there's a bird nest. Finally, good lord. Let's make some arrows. Run 
running out of stamina again. So let's go in here and check it out. Do a little exploring. This stuff, by the way, can be broken down for paper or glass, depending on the, the particular one. A bit of trash. You can't really search it, though. Now, notice I'm hacking this, but honestly, um, that takes a long time. I could just pick it up and then go into my inventory and then scrap it and get seven wood right there. So, uh, for the chairs, it's best to just pick them up. Hack uh, couches whenever possible gets you leather. This can actually be broken down if you have a wrench to get some springs, but for now, we're just going to hack it for the cotton. And uh, let's go ahead and scrap all that. Start getting this to create cotton fragments, which are useful for all sorts of stuff. Cloth gear, plus bandages, and things like that. You know, I think we might move on. I don't think I'm going to stay here tonight. Some people will stay in the first one, the first little house that they see when they get into Navis game. And that's not that's not a bad idea. It's just, um, it, this is a horrible placement um, on the map. I'm right at the edge of the map. Um, I want to get further into the map and get to the place where, closer to the place where I want to settle in for at least the first couple weeks. Uh, at least for the extent of this tutorial. So I'm going to push on. Um, you guys might not. You might feel like you just want to rest up here and take it a little easier, but fortune favors the bold, and I would highly encourage you to push a little bit more um, if you feel like you can do it. Alright, so I'm going to keep hacking at this to get a little bit more wood. Again, you need wood, fiber, and stone as your early, early game resources. Let's get a shovel made. Um, because there's clay right here, and it may be hard to find later or inconvenient. It's right here. We're sitting on it. Yep. So we'll just dig up some up some clay. You do need some clay if you want to enter the Iron Age and craft a forge, uh, and you'll need it as you're forging at that point. But just crafting the forge itself is going to take a little bit. Oh, that's dirt. I think. Yeah. All right. So you'll you'll need to use clay, about 50 clay I think, to craft the forge, and then you're going to need some clay once the forge is made in order to start making some um, metal stuff. Some iron iron things. So you can notice clay here because it is slightly colored, it's kind of an orange color, and it's got this kind of green uh, vegetation on it, and you can also look on the map and see some darker areas over there uh, where the clay is, and so it's an easy way to spot it. Much easier to spot in other biomes. The plains one apparently it's so close to the appearance of the rest of the stuff that it's hard to spot. Let's get this trash here. Right. <clears throat> Hack up anything I can find here. These little shrubs are awesome. You can one shot them once you get a somewhat decent tool, which I have now. And they give you 12 wood. You normally get six wood per hack, so that's pretty nice. It's efficient. Yep. Paper is used for shotgun shells later. I really don't need it right now, but eh, I'll carry it. And if I need to scrap it later or toss it later, I will. Hopefully, I won't. Let's get some more yucca here. Going. Three damage from a cactus. Yeah, good stuff. Right, so the yucca fruit there will give us a little bit of food, stamina, and all that, uh, as I mentioned. What's kind of funny is you can actually just run around uh, carrying the yucca with you and use it for like long distance marathons. Uh, as long as you still have some hunger. But the good thing is it doesn't fill you up that much. It gives you 10 stamina and like 3, three hunger. So you could just uh, harvest some yucca, run around and be eating it and keep moving. It's a nice early stamina boost if you're in the plains or the desert. But it is worth saving for the yucca juice. The yucca juice isn't bad. Especially early game when you don't have a pot yet. So, Alright. Let's get a bow made. Now that we have a couple arrows... Normally I wait to craft the bow uh, until I get enough arrows, because when you craft arrows, it raises your weapon skill, 
your weapon grappling skill, and then that in turn gets you a better bow. I'm going to scrap these, because um, that helps you make landmines, but that's much later once I get some uh, gunpowder. Golly, I need feathers bad. I'm going to go ahead and convert this to seed so I don't eat that by mistake. We're going to have tons of fiber left. Still need a bow, but I think we need to head somewhere down there. Alright, get this golden rod. It will help us with the tea later. I guess it grows out here in the plains, but doesn't hurt to get it on the way. And the cotton will help us get that cloth. Alright, so we have our first Zed here. Let's just club him to death. Yep. Die. Good lord. Yep, so this is a common newbie mistake. Um, uh, gunpowder. Alright, common newbie mistake is um, fighting when you're low on stamina. If you're under 50 stamina, you're dealing half damage not only to blocks, but to zombies too. Let's see. Oh, there's a pig. Let's see, can we, can we get anything? Let's get that bow. Alright. Stupid. Pigs are tough to kill, man. They used to be really tough. How did I miss? Th really? Alright, that's a hit. Good. Oh, come on, pig. Alright, so don't chase. You may want to chase, but that really just scares the animal and makes it run off even faster. So sometimes you want to kind of slowly get up to it so you can see it better and then just wait until it comes down. Ooh, nest. Wait till it calms down. Where is it? I think it's over there. Is that it? Yep. Yep. Okay. So let's see if I can hit it. No. Damn, really? Come on. It's just too far away. And I'm sensed. I'm willing to betcha. It's going to happen. There's a zombie nearby. I can hear it. Nope. Jeez, I've only got one arrow left. All right. Let's craft some more. 19, that's good. Where'd he go? There you are, piggy. Oh my god, into the bush. Um, no, I'm not gonna hit you from there. I know it. Nope. Stupid pig. Ah, oh, now you're dying on cactus. Come on. Let's just chase him down and see if we can do that. Oh, up a hill. Yeah, that was a bad, bad decision. <laughs> Still can't. By the way, if you want to get rid of the um, the arrow that's knocked without loosing the arrow, you can just switch to another weapon, and it'll retract the arrow. Come on, come on. Die. Stupid pig, die. How am I missing? Man. I don't normally suck this bad, really. I don't. Oh, now I got Zeds on me. But pigs are some of the most frustrating things to kill. Uh, they're as fast and as tough as deer. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to give up on that pig. They're f as fast and as tough as deer, but they are shorter and hide in the bushes so much better when you're trying to chase them down. So, you know. Ooh, corn. More corn. That's good. Let's pick up this stuff. We just need to focus. We need to get on our way and get to the location. We'll just have to get animals another time. Maybe there'll be more animals when we get over there. Hunting is one of those things that if you have the skill, you should do it first day as, or as soon as possible. Because if you get enough, I think it's like 20 hide. If you get enough hide and you're lucky enough to get a, a short iron pipe, then you will be able to uh, craft a forge. Or a bellows. If you get two forge, two short iron pipes, you can then craft a forge. Oh, nice. Now I'm finding these. These are really hard to spot, man, because they're the same coloration. Really hard to spot in the grasslands. Oh. Yeah, these guys are tough. You want to want to soften them up a couple times, and then move up and attack them. Those some deal stun damage times three damage while they're down. So you you shoot them, knock them down, and then go club them. 
really helps. Did I just see a... No, guess not. There's a rock. That's it. Okay. I thought I saw a nest. I know... Oh, there you go. I know all you guys are going to be watching this going like, Oh my god, the nest was right there! You know, but... It's really hard to see all this and talk and narrate at the same time. Of course, it's my first last play, so um, I'll get better at this. I promise. Working really hard to do all this at once. It's actually a lot tougher than it looks. If you've never done a let's play or a narration on this, it's, it's tough. hacked away. I may just settle in here for the night. It's getting dark. It's getting 1600 hours. I really need to move fast and start getting settled in. I'm going to run out of time. Generally you want to start fortifying and setting up your home right around the 16, 1700 mark. That's 4 p.m. I know that sounds like it's too much time, but you're going to find time gets away from you. Alright, so let's store some stuff here in this car so that we can um, make a chest, drop some stuff into the chest, and have better inventory management here. Get in the habit of making chests and putting stuff in there. Even if it's outside or anything else like that. Oh, there's a deer. Oh gosh, I want that deer. So bad. Let's drop off some stuff here. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can kill this deer. Meat and, again, don't chase. Oh, I went back the rock. Meat and leather. Or hide. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't run, don't. Uh -uh. There you go. Missed. Damn. There you go. Oh, yeah. Hear that sound? That's awesome. Let's get over here to him. And we don't have a shiv, because ah, I didn't kill... I didn't get that zombie's uh, bones. I should have done that. should have stuck around, hacked it. There's another deer. Okay, so we'll just get the bones from this deer, make a shiv, and use that on the next deer, if it's still around. Right. Shiv. Good. Now, where's that other deer? Uh, oh, chicken. Chicken. Is that a chicken? That's a chicken. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Come on, chicken. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to eat you. Yep, come on. Oh, come on. Stupid chicken. Eh. Can't hit. Yeah, what? How did that chicken live? I, I hit the chicken with a reinforced iron club and it lived. That's a beefy chicken. Alright, so chickens are really good because they give you meat and feathers. And as you know, I'm very low on feathers, so I really need them. Hopefully that deer's still there. There it is. Man, I can't believe that chicken survived. Here we go. Let's see. Grass is too high. Missed. Ah, look at that. Headshot. That was awesome. I'm just dishing out the facials today. Right in the face. Alright. It's going pretty good. Hopefully I'll get enough hide, because I'm actually killing a lot of stuff. Hopefully I'll get enough hide here to make some bellows, but I doubt it. 14. Mm. I think I need 20. No arrows. Oh, I need wood. Really? I need wood? I must have left it in the chest. I think I did when I was in a hurry to get that deer. I think I just left it there. 
Alright, well, let's hack some of this apart. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Right. Probably need a little bit of fiber as well. Um, yeah, I think I got eight. Ugh. Left it all back at the chest. Alright, we'll just get a little bit more wood. It, more wood doesn't hurt. Uh, let's just scrap that and then make another axe. Really? Really? <laughs> yeah, big dumb maybe mistake. I scrapped my last stone axe and uh, don't have enough stone to make another axe. Ooh, there we go. More feathers. Yeah, so I need stone. Um, where's the stone? Where's the stone? There's one. That's not enough. Do I start punching rocks? Come on, stone, stone, stone. Another nest. Um, where is the stone? Quest for a piece of rock. Come on. Ah, I think that's enough. Is that enough? That's enough. Awesome. Okay, I won't make that mistake again. Um, <laughs> wow, don't scrap your last stone axe before you make another one. All right, so let's just get some of this here. Give us a little bit more iron, a little bit more stone, so that we can make more. I know I'm sensed. Sweet. Yep, we'll have to loot that deer later. Again, it stays for about five minutes, so you're okay. But uh, I think there's a zombie on me. Yep, definitely seen. I don't see him, so he must be a crawler. It's getting late, 1900. Alright. Keep hacking as long as he's not there. I think I see him there in the bushes. He's coming up in the grass. Let's grab that. Let's get moving. Come on. And by the way, you can tell you know when you're hunted if you're just crouching. You don't see it when you're not crouching. But you'll see that indicator right there in the middle. All right, let's go ahead and deal with this guy. Yep, there you go. And if you just you notice there's a rhythm to how they move, um, you can basically just time it to hit him in the face. And club him if you have to. Yeah, you level up. I have five skill points to spend. Yeah. So. Let's drink that water. Give us a little bit of stamina back with that. You know, if you time things right, you can you know, drink in order to get the stamina back, and you get the benefits of both. You get hydration and stamina every game. After the first part of the game, mid-game, you, you, you don't worry about stamina as much, but at early, you do. It's a huge part of your resources, really. How much stamina do you have? Getting near 50 now, so it's going to start affecting my damage. Just get this thing finished. I definitely need to kill him before I go inside. Because he'll just follow me and uh, be a problem. Right. There we go. Alright, got a little bit of late game stuff there with that uh, moldy bread. Which you can use in chemistry set to make antibiotics. A lot of people throw that kind of stuff away at the early. I, I try not to. Um, I just get a chest, put stuff in there, and deal with that. Let's go ahead and put some of this late game stuff in here. Um, tin. Some crop stuff. Yep. Alright, that's good. Oh wait, dang it, I have a chest here. Alright, that's right. I set up that whole chest in order to do that. Alright, let's do this really quick. Late game stuff. Get some of the things we know we need. The three core ingredients. Plus, let's start chunking alchemy related things. Lead. Might need the rest of that. Might need the golden rod tea, but I doubt it. I don't know. Uh, definitely cotton and meat. 
think that's about it. Yep. Let's toss the rest of that and let's go make some seeds. And I think I saw. Yep. Alright, that's good. Let's get inside. It's getting too dark. I can sit and do min min managing, micromanaging my inventory all night. Um, let's see if we can go over here and loot this first, because I'd hate it if there was actually something really good there and I missed it. Especially if you help that night. Come on, come on, come on. Time, time, time. Oh, armor. Awesome. Barb club. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. 8.6, 8.82. I, I don't know. Whatever. I'll just take one and scrap the other. I'm going to have to remake them anyways. That's not very good damage. I'll be making new items throughout the night. Alright. <clears throat> oh, second short iron pipe. That is perfect. That is a forge right there. If I can just have the leather or hide. I'll chuck the glass for now. Good. Yeah, third iron pipe. Well, that's good. Extra. Alright. Let's get inside soon. We've got 40 minutes. Just very little. Chuck a few things so I don't have a completely full inventory. Yep. Yeah. Alright. That'll have to do. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'll just leave that there. Actually, put the bullets. That's good. Let's get this door open. Oh, it's, it's unlocked already. Dang. Let's repair it. Right. Uh, let's get frames. Wood frames. I don't think I have any. Favorite those. Craft them. And let's put one thing in here so that I can get the frames in my inventory. Right. <clears throat> All right. Now. Frames. I thought I was crafting them. Did I not craft? I think I... Wow, I thought I queued him at least. Alright, get 10 made. That should get us through. And scrap that. Put that there. Scrap that. Alright. You know what? I don't really need the frames to get up there. I need ladders. So let's just hack this down. Let's see if we can get ladders up there. Let's board up the windows because you don't want anything to be able to look in and see us. And uh, it also raises our construction a little bit. The problem with some of these dilapidated places is that you have to do a lot of renovating to get them to be structurally sound, but um, you don't have to fight off Zeds to get to them, so there's that. Alright, let's get the ladder. Quick, quick, quick. They're running. They're running. There's that sound, right? That's the sound you're going to learn to dread. Alright. <clears throat> right, let's just hope nothing sees us through the window right now. Let's board that up. So line of sight actually matters in this game. You know, if you can board it up and, and block your vision, it actually does work. There you go. Let's repair some of this. Yeah, now I'm probably using up too much wood for this, but it is leveling up my construction, and I think my real bottleneck is going to come from from how much stone I've got. Um, but we'll see. Um, I really didn't spend a lot of time getting a lot of wood today. I spent a lot of time hunting and traveling. So yeah, it's one of the risks, right? If you decide to, to go to a different POI, not take the first one handed to you, it is going to take some time to travel, and that's going to eat away from your your day. And again, time is your most valuable resource here. So, uh, I hear something nearby. I hope he doesn't see me, or sense me. I can hear him. Right, so... Because if they are sensed, they're going to run up here and they're going to try to get up here. And they can just basically, you know, break the place. Let's get a wooden hatch made, just in case they get in and they can get up there. I can't remember if I put the bottom rung or not. I can't really see here. That's the thing. It's dark. I wanted to point out something about the hinges here. So, I tell you what, let's, let's do something. 
Alright, I can't pick that up, so let's just scrap that. We'll make another one, that's fine. Let's get the torch here. I still can't see. Alright, well. Right, better. Alright, so you see the hinges there? That's the direction it's going to open up, and whenever you put a hatch down, it's not actually on the frame, it's actually on the, the ladder there. And so you're going to come out here and, empty, and go off to the right. So you don't want to actually put it uh, so that the hinges are where the ladder is emptying onto, like a line up with the ladder. It's hard to get out that way. Let's put the torch over here so we can see better. Yeah, so we're going to do most of our stuff right here. All right. <clears throat> so we need a bedroll, or else if we die, we're gonna uh, respawn at a random place on the map, and it may be miles away from where we are, we're at right now. And uh, by the default settings, you drop everything, and you only have a little bit of time to get to your backpack before everything is lost. So everything you see here in my inventory will be gone. Um, but we're just doing it with tool belt only, but still, I don't really want to have to run back here in the middle of the night with zombies running. So let's just scrap that. And, um, yeah, we don't have enough hide to make a bellows. We need 20 hide. I can use leather or hide, but it's got to be one of the two. Um, I can't use a combination. That's still only be 18, so, yeah, let's set this down here. And let's get a chest made. we got to get this raw meat out of here, because it's going to get me sensed. Raw meat has a pretty large radius uh, of smell. Okay, so let's dump all this here. Food, anything food related? Uh, goldenrod, yeah. All right. Okay, let's make some cotton. Cloth fragments. And, man, man, I wish I had more hide. Let's get another storage chest. Actually, you know what? We'll just put everything in this one. We're not leaving. I mean, we're not staying here. We're going to be leaving pretty soon, so... I really don't need to settle down for the long run. I'll just dump everything in here. That's fine. And just focus on the few things I need to do tonight. Great. Mm, let's see. You're going to need glue for a crossbow later. Um, bad thing is you can't make glue without the chemistry set. So you don't want to mess around with the glue that you do find. You don't want to turn it into duct tape or anything else if you can help it. Okay. Let's start making a campfire to get that quest and start food production. And while that's happening, we can go in and make a few tools. Let's do shovels. There's some debate about which one levels you up faster, shovels or or axes. Um, I think it's really based on how many items you make. Uh, shovels eat, eat up more resources, so I think they level you faster, but I don't know. Somebody might know better than me. Uh, I think the overall difference is pretty minute. So I'm making 16 of these. This is spam crafting. Some people hate spam crafting. They think it's a bad thing. Um, I think it's in the game. It's usable. I don't go crazy over it. Basically, I just do it when I have nothing else to do. And I'm really bored. Like, the first night, usually I then just try to get my skill up to about 100, if possible. Although, not likely. But, if possible. And then after that, I don't really spam craft very much after that. So, yep, you can use this as fuel. It's 18 seconds per shovel, but you can also um, scrap them and get a little bit of stone back. And seeing as how stone is my limitation right now, um, I'm better off scrapping these for stone. So I'm going to go in here and um, start doing that. Let's get a little bit of food and get some cooking stuff while this crafts. You can eat this, you get a can back, and it lowers your hydration, which are your thirst. So, but now you got empty cans, and you can do things with those empty cans. Um, so that's kind of cool. You can put in, you know, put water in them and stuff like that. And before you have a shovel or a cooking pot, that's a big deal, a really big deal, because it's the only way you're going to get hydration, unless you're smart enough to get the yucca fruit. Where's that yucca fruit? Oh, it's in my tool belt. Okay. So, yeah. Let's get that made. Right. Right. And while I was doing all that, these shovels were getting made. And they're almost done. So, 
You'll notice that they leveled up, you know, one or two points every shovel. Not a whole lot. So I'm going to take the best shovel and put that there. Start scrapping these. And... Yeah, I mean, it's not a lot for spam crafting, but it is a little bit. I mean, you know, every little bit counts in the first couple days. They did lower the effect of spam crafting, which is good. I mean, it was ridiculous before. Now it's a little better. There are some exploits using the uh, crafting station or the workbench and all that to get really high quality stuff. And I guess it's okay, but in the end, you know, you do what you gotta do. And newbies can take advantage of a lot more, I think, or should take advantage of a lot more than veteran players who kind of abstain from some of the more um, exploitive practices. All right, so I got a little bit of uh, hydration there. Uh, you can see your hydration stats uh, over there, but um, it's nice to have it there on the bo on the GUI. But you can just hit B and pull it up if you need to. All right, let's craft another one of these. Uh, empty can. Let's put that back. Yep, yep, yep. Right. We should probably make. We should probably cook some meat. Yeah, that's a small range of 60, um, so that's pretty far. Um, so if I can sense that. Charred meat um, is the first stage, and you can use it without a pot. Actually, the small range is 60, but the it's 20 in the bag. All right, 60 on the belt. Why would you put it on your belt? I don't know. But uh, 20 in the bag there. And this is only 10, so it's half. You know, half the smell range. The smell is basically when they can detect you, even through walls and stuff. So you don't want to give off much smell. And, and it's instant. Like, it doesn't take any time to get to them. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Oh, boy, I have not sensed. Really? So just eating that one piece? Really? All right, well, he senses me. That just means he knows I'm in the general vicinity. So let's just kind of keep quiet for a bit. Maybe make a couple of axes while I wait. Zombies can't hear you. So, you don't want to make too much noise. Every little thing makes a little bit of noise. If they're close enough, they can hear your bag. Zipper on the bag, open up, everything. But, most of the time, they're not going to hear minor things. They will hear you cooking. They will hear, you know, um, louder things. But accessing inventory actually can <laughs> tip, tip them off. All right. So you can see it's going up by about a point, point and a half. It's starting to slow down. You know, I got, yeah, two of them there, 71 at, at the same level. So spam crafting really has gotten uh, a hit. And that's fine. You know. Really, the, the, the main goal here is to just find something to do with your time that's still productive. Um, always be crafting, always be doing something. You know, um, so I'm going to scrap that. I think I'm going to scrap the barb club and just remake both of these. I've got the materials to do it. Because by now, my weapon levels and everything else are a little bit better. So scrap all this, get some of that stone back. Stone's the real limiter on this. At least in my situation right now, it is. So... Right, so if we hit N, you can pull up all your perks and everything, um, and skills. These are the ones you want to focus on here. These are, and I don't mean the top ones, I mean the ones that look like ribbons. Those are perks, and perks are the best use of your points early on. You don't want to put points into individual skills, not at low levels, because they they're so easy to level up just by using them. But you can't get a perk just by use. So I don't have enough points for perks yet, but I will. <clears throat> Still sensed. Let's make some arrows. And get that bow in just a little bit. That's the only more feathers. Alright, let's get the bow made after the arrows so that it gets the bump of the 54 arrows made there. Skill bump, hopefully. Alright, and... 
We'll get a shovel. Yeah, we'll have to get a shovel made later. Oh man, he's tearing up something. Yeah, we may have to fight this guy. We'll see. We only got 30 more minutes though. So maybe we won't have to worry about him. No, he stopped. Alright. Hmm. Still says Ah, there <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm undetected now. Maybe he just got tired of it. They do kind of give up the chase after a little while. If they don't find you. So maybe that was it. Let's see? Yeah, it sounds like another one somewhere else. Maybe a different one. Alright, just a little bit more. And it'll be daylight soon. I can go out. And I think that's where we're going to end the, the session. This video is going to stop right there, right around daylight. And we'll do part two uh, coming up soon. So, if you like this, I hope you like this. If you did, then... Uh, Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be putting up another one for day two in as fast as I can. All right, hopefully this was useful for newbies. Hopefully you learned something. I'll see you guys uh, in the next episode. All right, thank you very much.